right, and here comes another Masterverse, Masters of the Universe revelation figure, a deluxe figure, by the by. This is Skelegod. Uh, I'm not sure of what, the, what he's supposed to be, but he looks like a powered up version of Skeletor. As you can see, we do have the, the power sword there, so maybe in the show, I'm assuming he, he gets this the sword. I don't know! I, that's, what, that's my guess. But anyway, it doesn't matter because it's a very, very cool looking figure. Lots of neat detail. And unlike another deluxe figure we just looked at, this one actually comes with some shit. He's got the sword, like I said before. He's also got this green fire. Uh, I think you could put it on his fist. He can do a big green fire punch. And he can be old green hand. He has uh, two pairs of hands. He has kind of a, a grabbing hands and uh, an evil, uh, just sort of open hands, uh, semi-open hands, three quarters open hands, if you will. Uh, big uh, sheep horns on him, like the un not unlike the Havoc staff. He's like a, uh, a personification of the Havoc staff and Skeletor mixed together. Very, very cool looking so far. Can't wait to get him out of the box, but before we do that, let's take a look at the back here and read about Skelegod. It says, Skelegod, Cosmic Lord of Destruction. Skeletor lives his life with a singular purpose, to control the unlimited powers of the entire universe. Time after time, the bane of Eternia was thwarted by He-Man and the heroic warriors. What kind of monster would be unleashed should they be unable to stop the Lord of Destruction? Surely a raging storm of horror and terror even the bravest dare not even imagine. Um, so that kind of tells you the story of uh, what, without really telling you the whole story. Again, these were, I think this was out before the, the, he was Skelegod on the show. I think these came out before the show did. So these were just out in the stores and you just kind of had to, you know, look at them and, and be like, what the fuck is this supposed to be? But that's Skelegod. We're going to take a look at what, he's, what he looks like outside the box right now. All right, so here he is outside of the box in all of his uh, skeletory glory. It is Skelegod. Um, very, very cool and pointy. Lots of cool little points all over him. Um, <laughs> like, just lots and lots of little details. They even did a McFarlane dry brush on the body. Starts out with the blue, went a little bit darker. Uh, very, very cool. Like, I can't, I can't express to you how cool this is. When I saw this in the store, I didn't know, you know, what, what to think of it at first, but I knew I was like, I'm gonna get that Skelegod God figure because it is very, very cool. Um, we got the faces on the uh, on the knee pads, on the gauntlets, and even on the on the dick piece. He's like, look at my evil dick! Ha <laughs> ha! Um, <laughs> very, very cool. Wow, what an awesome looking figure! As we turn him around, we can see he's got a cloth goods, as they like to say, or a, a, a just a fabric cape in multiple pieces. Um, we've got this top piece, we've got a couple middle pieces, and we've got a couple of pieces on the back here. Very, very nice. Very nice little details. Hangs good on the figure. Um, he's got a like a neck that's like a neon coat. Like he's got green fire that is holding his head up. And speaking of green fire, he comes with this green fireball that he can shoot across the across the scene if you want um or i guess you can you can stick it onto his hand and he can do the big ah, the big power punch um if you will and I, and I think that'll fit on any of his hands he does come with uh two holding hands that you can use to hold things such as this uh power sword if you needed an extra one he comes with that um but otherwise that's about it when it comes to him, he does all the, the cool poses that you'd want him to do. Here's here's something. Hey, look look what color he is underneath. They didn't they didn't color inside the joints. 
Um, you know, maybe we don't expect him to. He does have the double joints or whatever. It does. He can end up with a lot of cool, awesome action poses in that in that instance. And I think he feels a little bit more loose and a little bit more poseable than even the more muscle bound his counterpart. His other, the other Skeletor. He seems like a little bit more poseable than that one, um, strangely enough, even though he's bigger and bulkier. Very, very cool look on this figure. Love the look of it. Love the skull. Love this, just the, the, the skull of it. And you might be able just to mix and match and put this on the other Skeletor and see what it looks like. Swap them up. D do what you like. That's, that's what I like to say. But anyway, that is Skelegod.